all in all, just fell and died. The devil is working overnight. The devil is looking for a star to terminate. It might not be you. It might not be your children. But it might be someone that is closer to you. That when it didn't happen, when it didn't happen to yourself, you'll be tired. You'll be heartbroken. You'll be confused. You will say, what is happening? Because of that, we are going to pray and stop every untimely death. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you. Come, blessed Spirit, we pray. Come, with your fullness and power. Come, with your whole special way. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you. Come, blessed Spirit, we pray. Missing my fire. Let that power 
be destroyed. Amen. Let that power be destroyed. Amen. And let my doctrine be released. Amen. Let the fire be found. 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 Amen. Every power that wants to dominate the ways of my destiny. Every power fighting against my document. Every power that is a cause. Every family child, every fruit child, 
challenges. Every fresh challenge, family package, I bring them to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every unfriendly friend that is in your life, monitoring how you succeed, monitoring what you do, today, I put a boundary, I put a distance between you and that friend. In the name of Jesus, let the excellent wisdom of God come upon you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go as you see. Amen. Right now we're going to hear the word of God. Stand up as you are, wherever you are. As we're going to welcome our daddy to give us a raw message of the Lord. As we welcome our reverend, reverend, I do he as you're going to give us the word of God. A lot of applause for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout a big, big, big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless someone. The Lord will bless someone today. The Lord will bless someone today. Ma 
Your miracle is, you will take it by force today. Amen. 
Amen. <laughs> I said, wherever, wherever, and wheresoever they put your miracle, you will take it by force. Amen. I said, you will take it by force. Amen. I said, you will take it by force. Amen. If you say amen, you are taking it by force. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are taking it by force. Amen. As a privileged pastor, your prophet over this commission, everything that they have taken from you, everything that the devil has taken from you, I deliver them to you now. Amen. I say I deliver them to you now. Amen. I say I deliver them to you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. wherever your miracle is, wherever your job is, wherever your husband is, wherever your wife is, wherever your baby is, you will take it by force. Amen. I say you will take it by force. Amen. I say you will take it by force. Amen. In the name of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God so far violent. And the Bible said the violent take it back folks. Church, are you going to take your position? I didn't hear you. <laughs> are you going to take your position? My fault. Are you going to take your job? Are you going to take your husband? My fault. Are you going to take your wife? My fault. Are you going to take your baby? My fault. Are you going to take your job? Never do. 
will answer prayer. God is looking for Christians that will pray to take it by force, to get their job by force, to get their document by force, to get their house by force. God is looking for Christians that will stand in the job to get out to God. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Until the day of John the Baptist, Bible says, until now, which is on 2020, the kingdom of God suffer violent. Suffer violent. Suffer violent. To take it back. It takes violent people to take it by force. If you are not violent, you can no violent faith. It takes violent for you to possess your possession. It takes violent for you to make it. You need to be forceful to take your possession. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You need to be what? Forceful. Let's see the book of Obediah. Chapter 1, verse 17. Our time is fast, man. We'll continue this message next week. Obediah, chapter 1, verse 17. Obediah, chapter 1. Obediah, chapter 1, verse 17. Let them open. Obediah is the Old Testament. Many people have never read that place for a long time. <laughs> Many people don't even know what is Obediah. So, let's open to Obediah. Chapter 1, just only one verse. Just only one verse. Just only one verse. Obediah chapter 1, verse 17. Obediah chapter 1, verse 17. Obediah chapter 1, verse 17. But upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the hours of Jacob, they shall possess their possession. That means it is the will of God for you to possess your possession. It is the will of God for you to take it by force. But the Bible says, Oh, poor Mosano, we are in Mosano. If you are not holy, you can take your possession. If you are not holy, you can take that possession. You need to be holy to take it by force. And Bible says there shall be what? Holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess your possession. I pray for you today. You will possess your possession. I say you will possess your possession. I say you will possess your possession Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Church, there are many people that is possessing our possession. There are many powers that is standing with possessing our possession. There are many powers in the north of getting that job. There's many people that are in that corner. There's many people that miracle.
strong. For you to take it by force, you need to be what? Strong. For you to take it by force, you need to be strong. Yes? I the power of his mighty. Be strong and in the power of his mighty. You need to be strong and in the power of his mighty. You need to be strong and in the power of his mighty. Yes? Why? Why do you need to strong? Continue, please. Put on the old armor. He said, put on the old armor. What ye may be. That you Stand against the will of the devil, yes? But we rise on not against flesh. Look at it, look at it. Because if you want to take it by force, there are powers that will not allow you to take it by force. There are powers that is standing against your life. There are against your job. There are powers that is standing against your marriage. There are powers that is standing against your life. There are powers that is standing against your miracle. Please, this life is too risky for you to play with your life. Many people are joking with their destiny. For you to jump the desk, please continue. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, yes, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Let me tell you whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, you have enemies. Doesn't matter whether you like it, whether you believe or not, just know that you have what? Enemies. Because if God have enemies, something must be strong with you to say you don't have enemies. But say, let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. So if God have enemy, why would you say you don't have enemy? You don't need to fold your hand when things is not going the way they are not supposed to go. You don't need to fold your hands. You don't fold your hands. Sitting down, it go better. You know go better unless you make a made it. Is somebody here what I'm saying? You know go better unless you make them say it go better. Praise the Lord. You need Bible say be say be strong. Every other season, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. That for you to take it forcefully, you need to be strong. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next we're going to see the force. We're going to see the things, the things that we need to make it by What are the forceful things that we will do that will make us to take it back? What are the force that we need to do? And let's look. He said, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. He said, put on the old armor. The old armor. The old armor. <laughs> Lockdown has made many people to be global. Lockdown, the devil knows that your miracle is just by the corner. So he makes sure that he calls lockdown. So that you can say, I'm not going to church again. So that you can say, I'll be sitting there at home. This is the, okay, I'll tell you, I'm, I'll tell people, I said, the best time now for any believer to serve God is now. Because if God can protect your life to see this day, for God to keep you, when people are dying, they were train people like me in Italy, inside uh, army boss, you don't train people like this, and you are alive. And you talk about your own power, you take their life. You are joking. You are joking. The best time for any believer to serve God is now. This is the time for me to say, I sit down at home. This is the time for me to say, I won't go to church again. This is the time for me to say, I will not read Bible again. This is the time for me to say, I will not pray again. You are just mortgaging your destiny. Because your miracle is just by the corner. The devil knows that if you just pray one more time, 
you will get it. So you will cause obstruction and confusion for you not to pray. But the Bible is saying in Ephesians chapter 6, it says, Be strong. Be what? Be strong. Be strong. <laughs> because why? Because the power that is standing against your miracle is strong. So the Bible says, You make yourself to be strong so that you can take it by force. That's what the Bible says here. Please read the Bible and you can understand it. Be strong. He said, Why? He said, Put on the red armor of God that you may be able to stand against the devices, against the ways of the devil. Because we wrestle not with the power that we are fighting. He said, The power when you won't fight, when you won't take it from that power. He said, They are very strong. He said, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in our presence. That means principalities, one, rulers of darkness, two, spiritual wickedness. We are fighting against four powers. Maybe you don't kill one, you are relaxing. You know that they are still to you. You need to kill the second one. You need to kill the third one. You need to kill the fourth. That means there are four powers that you need to kill for you to take it by force. Many of you have just killed one and you are relaxing. And the other thing is still to make you. You need to kill the other four. The Bible says we raise you up against flesh and blood, but the case of principalities, against powers. Rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in our place. He said, Therefore, be strong, put on the whole armor so that you be able to defeat this power. I pray for you as you hear the sound of my voice. There's a power coming upon your life to defeat them in the name of Jesus. I said, There's a power coming upon your life to defeat them in the name of Jesus. Ah, as the way there's a power. Coming upon your life to defeat the devil. I said to defeat the devil. You are taking that jump high. I said you are taking that jump high. You are taking that jump high. You are taking that miracle path. You are taking that husband path. You are taking that baby path. You are taking that miracle path. We don't serve the God. We serve the living God. Is the same yesterday. Is the same today. Is the same forever. When God says yes, nobody can say no. When God lifts you up, nobody can bring you down. When God bless you, nobody can curse you. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Holy God is on your side. Come on, wave your hands and I'm taking it down. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to take them back. Yes, you are supposed to come at that. Man, we na baba man kata. Man, go to the basa kama kata kata. Five man batu, five man batu. When it comes to us, oh, and five man batu. Let me get the voice. When it comes to us, oh, five man batu. Five man batu, five man batu. When it comes to us, oh, and five man batu. Fight my battle, fight my battle. Only go for us, fight my battle. Fight my battle, fight my battle. Only go for us, fight my battle. Fight my battle, fight my battle. Only go for us, fight my battle. Fight my battle, fight my battle. Only go for us, fight my battle. Fight my battle, fight my battle. Only go for us, Come on, 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 come on,